Hello, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I have a feeling I'm losing out on talks and connection with everybody. That's why I called. Yeah, me too. I haven't done anything exciting since. It's getting boring at home in the lockdown. I figured it will do good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. Well, not so bad. I've been enjoying cooking. Oh yes, you are coming daily, right? Well, yes, but I've also been trying to cook daily food now that we're in the lockdown. It's helping. Mm. I I also am a parent sometimes, but um, they always assign me something like washing the vegetables. I wish I could learn. Yes, I've also been trying to learn, but I need to keep calling out to my mom for help if I get stuck. Uh, why don't strange. Why don't you use a recipe book? It make make things easier, you know. Hmm, I do, but it doesn't always come out like how I want. Anyway, recipe books have so many recipes. I just looked at one once. I thought I could never learn all the recipes. I'm happy mixing powders into water and making juice. <laughs> I hope we can at least do the mixing well. Oh come on! As a mixing is a big classified secret. It can be. Everything in cooking is an art, you know. What? Yeah. You know that there's a book called The Art of Cooking, written by a very famous Italian chef. I think I should look at it once more. It was very different than how an actual recipe book looks. It had it was so the name was a cookbook. So and it had sections like how to cook any type of soup and not just one, which is ordinary. Which soup? Um, any type of soup. No, no, no! Not any particular soup. Any type. How can you prepare any soup? That's a good recipe, no? Chicken soup, mutton soup, tomato soup, corn soup. You know what I mean, right? I guess I do, but you know what I mean? It's like if you know the basics of making soup, then you can make any type of soup, like any. Seriously? Wow! Learn one thing, and you can make a variety of them. Hmm. Is it possible to learn? Yes, I think it is, but not from a recipe book for sure. Then uh, how? Hmm. Good question. You and I are both. Um. I think half of the things in that book were things we don't really eat. Is there no book like this for our cooking? Yeah. True. Would there be like the art of Indian cooking? Won't it be amazing, especially now that everyone is learning to cook or trying to learn to cook? It will be amazing. Yes, yes, you are right. How about we take matters into our own hands? Hmm. Okay. So the first step would be. I know. I know. We will just write our own recipes. Hmm. Wait a minute. Didn't we just agree that recipes is not the answer? Oh right, right, right. It is so difficult to imagine a cookbook without any recipes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let's start with recipes. What is a recipe really about? Okay, so there are ingredients, then there are steps. What are the steps? I was looking at an aloo gobi recipe before. Let me find it. So I found. It. So in the steps it says, heat two tablespoons of oil over medium heat in a large pot. Fry two Okay. Let's read another recipe. Hey, remember compare and contrast? Shall we do that with the recipes we read? Yeah, that would be fun. You know, like real life compare and contrast. You know what? We should let Tita know about this. Since cooking is a hobby, she might really enjoy it. Yeah, I think so too. I like Ida to the call. Give me a sec. I asked if she'll join, and she's in the waiting. I'm letting her in. Oh, hey guys, uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. 
So, uh, what are you guys up to? Why do you call me? We are talking about a book called The Art of Cooking and Laksha, can you follow through? Yes. He says cooking is like an art. I'm not too sure. We're looking at some recipes right now and we thought we'd call you for some idea. Oh, cool. Anyways, I love cooking and I love to do this with you guys. Look, all the recipes have something in common. See, cutting vegetables, boiling and kneading. Yeah, Rehan's actually right. Let's make a list of these things. Wait, what are they? Steps? Aren't these verbs? The different actions in cooking? Oh yes, you're right. Let's make a list of these verbs. Hmm. What? What happened? Didn't we see about 20 recipes already? Yeah, we did. So? So... They, these, they have these eight verbs in common. Wow, so I can learn eight things and cook 20 dishes. Wow, wow. I can't wait. This is getting very exciting. Mm. But wait a second. Shouldn't the recipe books give the details about how to do these verbs? I mean, that seems to be the main thing to learn here. And if you don't know how to do it, then you might not be able to make the recipe after all. Hey, how about we figure it out and put it together in our cookbook? Yes, we will have to figure it out. And I agree. We could ask people who could cook well, like chefs. My interview them. It's good. Uh, let's divide these things and ask our parents. I can ask my nanny too. Wow. Yes. Let's ask whoever we can. And you know what? Let's also try it too. I think we should ask some. That's a great idea. Let's interview whoever we can, record our videos, and meet again this week. That's cool. Yeah. It's exciting too. I like it. Okay, take care. Bye then. I'm just so excited. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.
Harihar. I want, ma'am. I want to interview you because um, you are the ELAC facilitator, and in the ELAC team book, you uh, we all went through we all went through the art of cooking project for the annual day, and uh, you were you are the one you supported you supported us in the art of cooking project. Uh, so much that's why that's why we chose to interview you. Okay, go ahead, Malha. Okay, so the first question is, how was your journey in the facilitator, being a facilitator in the annual day project? <laughs> the journey was. Um, it was quite amazing. It was uh, mixed with a lot of. A um, lot of learning, and actually, for me, the journey didn't start uh, only when we started working on it uh, during the annual day. So it actually started uh, last year when actually uh, we were uh, thinking of uh, you know what all to put in the theme book for the Being Change Makers theme. And then uh, while we were researching, I came across this uh, cookbook called The Art of Cooking. Which was apparently is the first modern cookbook, and the way it was designed was uh, very different from recipe books that we find. And I wanted to include that in the so at that time, and um, since we are in a pandemic and a lockdown situation, I had seen that during the summer a lot of uh, children are enjoying cooking. So wanted to bring that into the theme book. So that's where the journey started for me actually. SI is part of cooking. Caramelization is a reaction, right? So that is also science. So uh, I think there is a lot of science involved, and there's so much to explore. And uh, the kitchen is like a lab and a place to experiment. So that's all that we had, right? But you remember how we processed it? So we came and asked you, what are the dishes you like to eat, right? What yes. kind of a cook? Yes. What kind of? Yeah. Uh, beliefs you have and you know all of that so there is a lot of breakdown that happened to bring new people up to a point that oh verbs can be looked at this way there are personas involved right and we've thoroughly enjoyed this whole journey of how you people have come together and uh, leopards have done an amazing job so far okay and i'm looking forward to the cookbook um also to understand that for us annual day is a culmination of learning so far right but so much more has emerged from this process right now that we look we are looking at more missions for sm plates for the coming years uh, not just for the next year Well, I was definitely a bit excited, but also I was confused. Like I was like, "Why are we doing this? We don't even know how to cook." It was very fun. We did a lot of work on verbs. We did a lot of work on the verb detailing. We did a lot of work on the personas. It was all really fun. I wouldn't take it as a task. I mean, it was really fun. A task is a task. I looked at it as an opportunity, as a challenge, and as a new experience.